After two decades of addiction, Darius Domba is seeking help to overcome a habit he says he cultivated during Liberia's civil war. I was at the age of 14 years old when I joined the revolution. So I started, firstly I started smoking the thing they call or, or marijuana grass. You understand? So I started smoking the grass, we smoke the grass and you know the grass no longer make you feel the way you, you know, you want to feel, feel like. So I had, I get into the drugs. According to United Nations figures, an estimated 13% of Liberia's population is abusing drugs. It says 20% of young people are also addicted to illicit substances. With the absence of a proper government program to tackle the problem, individuals and non-governmental organizations are stepping in. After the detox, which has to do with the medications and all that, after that we get into more counseling and trying to provide some um, vocational training skills for them. Our institution can only help a few addicts at a time, and they are mostly kept for a maximum of three months. But 40% of rehabilitated addicts, he says, fall back into the habit because drugs are cheap and easily available on the streets. Drug cartels are increasingly targeting West Africa because of weak law enforcement. But Liberian security officials hope community engagement will help to curb the rise in smuggling and use of hard drugs. And we have confiscated a lot of drugs. Even the Bush talking about $100 million of drugs. We confiscated that drugs, told the kids, in quote, it went the way we least expected, or however, that is a good system. Liberia recently passed a new drug law, but many here tell us that corruption won't allow it to succeed. Darius says he's now recovered, but there are signs he's still struggling. But at least for now, he's found a temporary job at the rehab center. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Monrovia.